close your eyes and keep your mind focused right here in the present moment. Don't lean to the future, don't lean to the past. In other words, don't try to anticipate what's going to happen and don't dwell on what's happened in the past. Try to focus on what's actually happening right now, what you're doing right now. This is called sitting up straight in the present moment without leaning in any direction. Because the mind does tend to lean, not only to past and future, but it also leans in a lot of unskillful directions. And after all, sometimes it is okay to think about the future. You have to think about the future. You have to plan. That's what our sense of heedfulness is all about. And you learn by looking at the past and regarding your past actions and seeing what you did was skillful and what was not, and trying to figure out how you can improve in the future. That kind of leaning past and future is okay. But there are other kinds of leaning that we do as well. We lean towards the things we desire and we lean away from the things that we hate. We also lean through the power of delusion. We lean through the power of fear. Probably of all four, the, the last is the most dangerous. As I say, people in an insane asylum who are motivated by fear are the most dangerous ones. The ones who are, are angry are not nearly as likely to do something destructive as the ones who are afraid. When you're afraid, you can't think straight at all. All you can see are enemies all around you. All you have is a feeling that you're being threatened by something. And as a result, you can do and say and think all kinds of things for what you feel is your own preservation. As the Buddha said, there are lots of things in life that we try to preserve. We try to preserve our wealth. We try to preserve our health. We try to preserve our relatives. He says, but when we lose those things, it's not nearly as bad as losing your virtue or losing your right view. So we can't let these things pull us in their direction. We can't lean in their direction. We've got to learn how to keep the mind sitting up straight to see that what you do is the most important thing. And if you act in a way that's unskillful, it's going to have lots of bad consequences down the line, some of which you can't see yet, but they're going to be there. So you have to remember what the things that you have, things that are most worth, most worth preserving are things that nobody else can take away. You have your right view, you don't have to give in to other people's wrong view. You have your virtue, you don't have to give in to their impulse to, or their requests or their encouragement to make you break your precepts. These are things that you keep that nobody else can stay, nobody else can take. But if you don't keep them, then they're not going to stay. So keep this in mind, that you've got to preserve your virtue and your right view as your most important possessions. And the other things in the world, even though we may love them, there are times when we have to leave them. That's the way it is in the world. If you, if you don't leave them while you're alive, then you're going to have to leave them when you die. So don't try to hang on to them in ways that cause you to lose your most important possessions, the possessions that keep your mind sitting up straight. Your right view, as the Buddha says, views made straight. And your precepts, the precepts that are appealing to the noble ones. In other words, they can look at your behavior and they are pleased by your behavior. That's the kind of treasure you have that you want to hold on to above all else. So don't let the, the power of fear or desire or anger or delusion pull you away from these things. You want to keep your mind sitting up straight in right views, sitting up straight in the virtue of the noble ones. And that way you're on the path on the path to true freedom, on the path to true freedom from suffering, on the path to true happiness. You want to follow that path straight all the way through.